Alright everyone, uh, this is uh, Foul Hex here. It's a bit of a different game to what I normally play. I decided to do a let's play of Portal, well 1, Portal 1, the first one. I did play a lot of Portal 2. I kind of found it easy-ish and a lot of people told me Portal 1 is more difficult. So I decided to take a look at it. I'm not great at puzzles, I'm not going to say I'm a super genius and all that, but I just want to look at something different and I decided it kind of fits in with what I'm doing, you know, I'm playing the prequels of games that people find very popular. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure Portal the, uh, Portal 1 was popular too, but you don't hear about it as much, so I just thought I'd bring it out for everyone to see. Um, I don't, I haven't played it myself, which is kind of a shock, I kind of thought I did play it, then I remember no, I hadn't, so yeah, this is going to be a first time for me too. Um, I only done the very beginning of this, like just inside that room there, just to make sure I had all the buttons and all that stuff working in the audio. So yeah, we'll just get into it. Start new game. Um, I don't know too much of the story other than what happened at the beginning of Portal 2 that you assume happened in Portal 1 with GLaDOS and so forth. So. Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. I was just kind of staying quiet during that so you guys can hear what's going on. The subtitles do come up as well, but I find it more interesting to just let it. Oh, this cube's gonna drop. Yeah. There's all the basic tutorial stuff, of course. It has to get it to you. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. Uh, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. The like separature science material and then the patient grip will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. I was gonna say, I kind of look like the look of Portal 1 better. Like that um, elevator compared to the other one. The other one's more slim streamlined sort of thing. This I kind of enjoy. It looks more like a proper science place. Uh, it's just my opinion. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. that to open up. How do you make it? Is there a way to force it or is it just doing it randomly? Huh? Random. Whoops. Now I've got to wait again. <laughs> oh, the joy. It'll open up. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of again. this test. It's just tutorials. Hopefully it's not too many of them. I think I'll make the first video just the tutorials and everything after that will be hopefully something more difficult. Um, yeah, otherwise I, I'm, I'm quite enjoying the experience so far. I mean, just the feel of it. You're it does, doing it does very, feel very well. 
Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. <laughs> I always love those little jokes that our old GLaDOS makes. Very good. Yes, you are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... This is another thing I enjoy about the whole portal series, those, um... Uh, how do I explain it? The dialogue between GLaDOS and the character herself is interesting. Please proceed to the chamber lock. I always like taking Mind myself. the gap. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. I'll go get over there now. Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. <laughs> See, that's another example of that dialogue that I enjoy seeing between GLaDOS. Those, um, those jokes she makes, but it doesn't, she's not intending them. Backhanded jokes, you know. I think that's what you call them. It's, it's, it adds to the um, the feel of the game. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. Oh, it doesn't work, hey. I should I should have guessed that. Once again. Excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. I get in there? That doesn't work like that, does it? I don't know, it's probably some sort of easter egg there. You know what I mean? It's um... Some sort of secret. Um, I think I'll stop the video when I get the second portal gun, or second portal uh, color, the orange. But I don't know when that will come. So I don't want to make these videos too long. This is going to be a shorter series. I'm just going to run alongside Morrowind because I mean you can't play Morrowind the whole time. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Does she say that every time I um? Every time I, uh, I just go through it. Does she say that every time I screw something up? I'm oh, not screw something up. That's a, that's a bad word. Whenever I um. Knock one of these up. Certain objects may See. be vital to your success. Do not destroy okay. testing apparatus. That's where it came from, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, she's gonna say that every time I knock it off. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Yeah, I guessed. Good job. She knew. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two. That was interesting. Kind of. If I don't get the gun color on this one, I'll call this the last uh, test. I really hope I do get the gun though. Quad safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The Aperture Science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporism. Unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject hometown here. 
Was that it? <laughs> These are getting too easy. Okay, I know I said that would be the last one, but that wasn't even worth trying to do. I'll call the next one the last one. If it's not so easy as this one, because this was a waste of my time. I know it's a tutorial still. I just thought it wouldn't take this long to get through the tutorial. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold to reach the chamber lock. I see what we're doing now. I just fall down when I'm in line. I hope you continue to watch um, this series. It's going to be a relatively short one, com well, compared to Morrowind, of course. It's a more linear game. I don't think I'll be doing too much of the side stuff. It's just something fun to do on the side as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time.